Today we're going to be talking about the Epoch Cassette Vision, released in 1981 by Epoch, or Epoch, in Japan. This is one of the games, and this is how it looks like. Again, there's no detachable controllers in this because it's all here and here. So it's kind of an odd concept. So player one, player two is here, player one is here. And then you have, yeah, this is the RF. And then this is the AC. And then let's take a look here at the back. Uh, channel one, channel two. What well, it says right there, 1981, Ipoch. Toko, Japan, made in Japan. And then let's look here. That's where the AC, it's built in the RF, and it has that same issue like others with the burn with the plastic. Again, I think that's uh, just due to age or something, I'm not sure. There's an indicator light though for power on and off. And then of course it has the select aux. I guess aux is to add a gun or something like that. There's some games I don't have one. Also, plus, if I try to import that from Japan, I don't know if I have an issue with a toy gun. It looks real. So this is how the cartridges look like. I have a few. I can't find the other ones right now. They're buried somewhere. But I have this one, Pac Pac Monster. Uh, looks like Pac-Man, kind of. But that's how the back looks like. And then these come in a plastic, kind of looks like a, like a cassette. It looks like... Uh, you know, like a set from the 80s, 70s, uh, and then this looks kind of like an 8-track a little bit, but it's not. So it has that, you plug it in there to the, to the top, and then that's how it looks like. So we'll just do a demonstration here of uh, the game. Uh, this is difficulty. Push three and four, and then this is to rotate. So let's take a look here at Pac Pac Monster. So I forgot to show you, I have the, the junior version, the Epoch Cassette Vision Junior. You can see it was, uh, you can see right there, Cassette Vision Junior. Uh, this was, I was trying to clean it accidentally, like was rubbing it off on accident. But this one, there's nothing wrong with the picture, but I'll uh, try, but I do, there's two versions of this. So this is the original version, and then this is the junior version. Don't have none, neither have controllers. Your controllers, again, are stuck onto the actual console itself, which is kind of, uh, oh, yeah, not really okay, but hey, at least you don't have to worry about losing your controllers there with the console, but that's probably only one of the positives out of it. So let's do, I'll take a look. All right, so we have this going now, and let's see. Hmm. Only thing is the sound is still staticky, but again, this is Pack Back Monster, and then we press start here. Sorry, excuse the tripod, but what you gotta do here is you have to move the stuff. But the problem is, it's all uh, down here. There's no directional pad, and you can't move this up. So it's just here, here, go up, and then. You gotta just keep going. So let's just see how I do. Now, all right. So it's kind of like you gotta memorize which button goes to which. Push one, two, or three, or four because there's no directional pad. So, and you don't move to another section. It's kind of strange. This is not Pac Man I'm used to. Oh shoot, I'm gonna corner you. Up, 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 right. Up, up. Ah, oh, jeez. So, <clears throat> the sound is really eh, not there, but still looks good. Well, for 1981 graphics. I guess don't give you enough space. Okay, up, up. Left. There you go. There is. Gobble them up. Yes, I grabbed one. So, there you go. It's like Pac Man, but the smaller. And there's only two ghosts. I 
to 100. Yay. Now I'm screwed. Yeah. So, the piece of gaming history of Japan, not really... It's not really the best. I mean, he had more fun playing up to 2600 than this thing, but... Ah, so there's another mode here, because look, six, game, game, oops, wait, game two, did you see that? Game two and then game one. But I don't know what these things do, still trying to figure them out. I guess these are paddles? <clears throat> oh, wait, no, uh, so... Uh, Epoch did better with their second console, the Super Cassette Vision. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's kind of goofy, the, the controls in here. We had to, like, press these in order to go up and down. You just got to keep memorizing. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm going to also try the, the Cassette Vision Junior. But, if you like obscure consoles, this is one of them. There's other games too. Uh, maybe I'll just try to find them, but see, trying to figure it out. Ah, uh, He also had that. Remember, I made that video about uh, Epoch TV Vader. He also have a game of that as well. But since I already have that as a like a standalone console, I didn't bother getting that game. So, yeah, that is Pac Pac Monster. Kind of inferior version of Pac Man. Only on the Epoch cassette vision. Oh, this version. So, let's try now the cassette vision junior and see how this thing is going. They were trying to find some other games. Alright, now we have the cassette vision junior playing Galaxian. Now, this game. Oh, thing is, oh, it's malfunctioning. I just tried on the original, I guess. This one feels like it's more cheaply made. See, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing because there's no, nothing's responding to my button. But I'll try it. But I was saying this does work, but I don't know. It's kind of defective, I think. Now we got Galaxian wearing kind of. It's kind of like all over the place. But it's the best picture I can get. I don't know. <laughs> I kept going 95, 96. So, oh man, this is just terrible. People are complaining about composite. Oh man, look at RF. Terrible. So, oh yeah, there we go. You can just kind of see it, but. Uh, but this Galaxian, which is different, I'm getting uh, kind of dizzy trying to play this. But I wanted to show you, there we go, back and forth. I wish I could show this in a better, but I put 96, not much better, 95, see. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you some Epoch. Uh, cassette vision. I guess the best picture I can get is from Pack 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 Monster. Kind of terrible in uh, terrible picture in Galaxian. Sorry guys, but it seems like it's a fun game. It's just I'm getting kind of see I'm getting not see sick, getting motion sickness now because of how bad the thing is. If I do this, see it makes a little bit. Meh. So if I put it in channel 96, if I put change this, change this, let's see, channel 96, it's still spot awful. Uh, so, it's unfortunate, I'd like to play this game, maybe if I get composite out in this thing sometime, 
get it fixed, be better. All right, now, there you go, Galaxian. Mm. Okay, we'll try another game. We have Isaku. It's kind of like catching, I think. Let's see how this works. Oh, there we go. That one's a little bit better. So let's start. <clears throat> so are you supposed to catch this, I think? And then, no. <clears throat> Come on, catch this. Oh, I didn't catch it, and then I'm gonna get killed by this snake. So really primitive, even more primitive than the 2600. Kind of, I don't know how to describe this. I guess it's, <clears throat> I'm gonna get killed by this pig. Oh. So, I don't know the purpose of this game, but now you can see that he's dead. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this game is. I thought you're supposed to catch something. Like, that's the bird? Man, can you imagine this 1981 and then two years later, you get the Famicom out and how much more advanced the graphics are than this? Oh. Oh my. Good thing I didn't get this. It was pretty cheap. All this was shipped like 3,000 yen. Like about 20... Oh, you don't catch it with your hand. That makes no sense. I thought you did. Oh, shoot. Anyway, you're gonna get seasickness now, but yeah. Oh, jeez. So, in a nutshell, that is the Epoch Cassette Vision. Uh... Controls, I would give this really a 1 out of 10. It's not really that good. Controls. This, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this. So again, you gotta push 1, 2, 3, and 4 in order to move around.